to sort with Reanimator. Yeah. <laughs> ah, moment. So you're playing final slot this evening? Yeah, that's it, last on, yeah. Have you enjoyed the day in the band so far? Yeah, been good. Yeah, it's been good meeting up with uh, a lot of you know, different bands we had to see before and met before. And, yeah, it's a good lads, yeah. yeah it's good. Excellent. It's good. Excellent. Yeah. So what has Reanimator been up to lately then? Dogs, Mike. <laughs> We've been Just waiting for Mike to say something illegal there. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, sir. We've, we've, we've not done a lot this year so far, have we? Um, this is the first one of a few we've got lined up. So um, obviously, we're all kind of pretty old and got proper jobs and all that kind of stuff nowadays. So we're not gigging like we used to be. But, we don't have about proper jobs. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we've got some great gigs coming up. This is a you know yeah. first one of a, of a great kind of year bit, coming up. So seems to be a bit of a revival, isn't it, of eighties metal yes. and stuff. So obviously, obviously we was around then, which was great. It's good to like, to have another bash at it as well for fun this time. Excellent. So you sent us some other gigs. Where else are you playing? Uh, we're clash against Hampshire in Liverpool next month, which is an important gig. This is what it is. And wildfire in June. Scotland, a big festival there. Which you've been quite honest to say we're quite looking forward to. There's two of them, we're going to go self capture with the Dark Angel, who's the song we're into, who's the Mark Sebastian. Which stage are you on? Friday. Friday at Woodstock. Yeah, it's sort of my character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, and you're going to stay week all weekend and party? Yeah, yeah. yeah cause we've, we've toured with Dark Angel and Nuclear Salt before, so it'd be good to uh, catch up with those guys. Yeah. We haven't seen them for what, 25 years, whatever it is. Yeah, it's a couple of years, Kev, yeah. yeah. I know you think we're only 28, 29, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> this is what doing being on the road does to you, is it? <laughs> Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You tend to lose a few years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not we're not camping there, we're not going on tour and pitching our tents after everything did back within the years and having on. To be fair, Kev at Bloodstock we might be. <laughs> yeah, we might be there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm well fired, yeah. Excellent. And uh, recording wise. Yeah, we've, we've thought about it, haven't we? We have, we have thought about it and we're kind of toying with the idea of either re-recording some of the old stuff, or the very old stuff, or the stuff we're playing at the minute, or maybe writing a few new bits. I'm not sure about either yet, really. But yeah, it's, it's on our minds, but we haven't got anything planned at the minute. The good thing is, um, you look at SoundCloud, you listen to the bands nowadays, and people are probably doing better recordings in the bedrooms and garages than what we do in thousand pound a studio. Yeah. So, yeah, it would be nice to, you know, to just say to re record some of the songs of these that, you know, when we look back on it, you know, we could wait to have a minute, but it would be better than that. Yeah. So, it's, uh, we're into music. He's uh, he's back in touch. Oh, Mr. Richardson, yeah. Text me today. Uh, so, it's a chance to see what comes together then. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, maybe it could come together, and it'll be one of those, all of a sudden, we'll just announce something. The music seems different now though because you like as you know the bands are really, like always here today have got CDs out. So we we never have CDs out without a record company in the old days. Very difficult. Whereas now it's like record companies, you don't need a record company as such in a way. It's yeah, totally the, the different, isn't it? And yeah. Social media it's just it's a whole different I mean you can record something in your bedroom and all you put it out to the world, don't you? And the next day it's uh, you know it's very difficult now and to do that. It's very DIY now. When we're yeah, 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 you have yeah. to go and the only route was for a record company to get anything done. This is the way it seems to be going. And it's not really a bad thing for the old bands. No. No. It's great. I mean, it, it was. It's a different. It's a different competition now, isn't it? Because you can do it yourself and, and get it out there and get it worldwide. Then the bands that couldn't do that when we were around are now doing it. So your competition is so much bigger. We, I mean, when we were about, as, as you as you know, we you kind of poke your head above the water once and somebody sponsors you, and then you you know you get a record deal and you're away. Yeah, so, we, yeah, we have, it's, we had a, it's different. We had a two, very different. A two track cassette. 
if you get that played to the right person, the right person passes it on, then yeah, that was, yeah, it didn't say much for us, did it, really? No. Surprising. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit of a surprise, to be fair. Uh, what makes me laugh is when uh, you see on the internet, Facebook and stuff like that, people putting ticket stubs up from old gigs from the 80s. There's an acid rain for £3. Yeah. And it's what a rip. bargain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and sometimes there was a two t -shirts bed band on <laughs> for £2.50. Yeah. Yeah, two t-shirts and Acid rain and reanimator, £2.50. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't get value like we are getting some t-shirts to back out. Yeah, 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 we've got t-shirts. <laughs> <back out. laughs> we've got some shirts. <laughs> and I suppose it's the um, places like this that do the mini festivals and things actually give fans a chance to get out there yeah. and start to be seen. These are it, because we stick it when we was in a big festival, yeah. and there's nothing. So you'd have two or three band gigs, that was it. Yeah. There's loads of these ones, which are it. Get people out there, don't they? Yeah, we, we see bands, but we never see them. Yeah. Because you wouldn't physically have a chance to get them. You've got something like this, well supported, people come in, and it's just there. It was only like Monsters of Rock, wasn't there? You know, which is down, yeah. you know, downward. Isn't it? That was the only one that uh, sort of you, you met all the heavy bands had a chance to play to that. And I know. You, you had to be in Europe, weren't they? Well, I know. I mean, this country. Oh, you, you had to yeah. be a pretty big band to get on. The uh, Your Downs, they was good though. The Hull yeah, Downs, yeah, Sheffield I mean, and Nottingham. Yeah. Do you remember when we played them? Yeah. They, they was like all day festivals, weren't they? In, in the university circuit sort of thing. Yeah, they, they, they was a good bash, but the one, yeah, there yeah, seems to be loads of festivals. Yeah, Drain, Lawnmower Death, and you know, the Tornaga. Yeah, Tornaga. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot, yeah, lot of them, wasn't there? Well, yeah, it's good. Not necessarily wrong. We almost knew every band that was on a similar level we was going to go. Because there was, as John was saying, you, just, you stuck your head up, you was you always gathered together, so we knew them all. Nowadays, it's just, it's just, it's just so many of them. It's a lot of bands. Have you ever thought about doing like a reunion tour with other bands you've played with before? So I know we go out and do uh, yeah, something but, like but this. Unfortunately, um, as far as it, like a tour goes, because every, you know, like we've all got you know, yeah. jobs, kids, and all sorts going on. Other bands have got yeah. all the same going on. So to actually get everyone to come inside and to, to be able to be available for the same day, it's, yeah, it's, it's not only possible, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, weekend warrior stuff, you know, it's, you know, as and when you can, really. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, when your new album comes out, we were discussing about the set of things. Would you like to see it on download, CD? Final all cassettes. Cassettes <laughs> well, making a comeback. It'd be a miracle if it did come out. To be honest, but yeah, I mean, um, it yeah, must probably be out on the pirate bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're already having any trouble with uh, illegal yeah, releases. Down, yeah, download, yeah, downloads give everybody in America. Yeah. yeah, somebody's released "Condemned in Denial Reality" illegally in America. Yeah. Now we can't. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. struggling to stop that. So. Yeah. We did get it stopped once, and then, then it's restarted again. Yeah. I also ask a random question. Marmite Levitt hated. Pardon? Marmite Levitt hated. Oh. Yeah. There's no in between, Mike. Yeah, hate <laughs> it, there's then. no hate grey it, area. Then. Hate it. <laughs> Love it. Really? Love it. Ooh. Split <laughs> down the middle. Yeah, absolutely. Two, two, two on Marmite. That could be the end of us, that. That could be, yeah. Big fight on stage. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in a band like Marmite. Oh, I can't, I can't. I can't. I'm a joint to be in a band with Marmite. I don't think I can look at you anymore. <laughs> so, no. Luckily Mark's a drummer so we never look at him anyway, <laughs> so that's alright. I'll just be throwing sticks at you, I like drummers. Uh, uh, Mike, love him or hate him? <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer that in front of him. <laughs> Can I give him back at the end of the night? That's yeah. So what age were you when you started playing your instruments? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who are? <laughs> You've never asked me. <laughs> <laughs> He's never been taken that way. <laughs> so well, that takes me back. Yeah. We're not on about the skin <laughs> flow. <laughs> yeah. uh, first guitar or drum kit? My first drum kit, 14. 
I've been playing about a year, I think, when we got when we got together. So not long at all. So I played I played more sissy instruments at school. What was your 18 then or something? 20. 20. Really? Really? I did about 14. Yeah, yeah. 14. 13, 14. And I still, still ain't got a clue. I still can't play it. Was, um, 1977. So, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, and do you still have any for the first guitars or anything? Have you got any real good equipment? Yeah, I, have, I still play the white Charvel bass that I played. In, in eight, well, I've toured with it from 89 onwards. So I'm still playing it. Same strings, still in tune. <laughs> All I've done is change the battery once. I, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've got anything. Brilliant. Yeah, you, you change, don't you? Yeah, I ain't got any guitars or amps yeah. or anything. I wish I'd have saved them all, though. I bet you'll do, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I've got a white. I can't use it because I use it often, it's actually a replicator. And my last and final random question is the zombie apocalypse. Who in the band will die first and who will live the longest? Um, Mark will die first, he's the slowest. Yeah. With his old knees. Who's Unless he's on his bike. Who's got yeah. the most meat on him? Who we could like feed them. I'm not coming out of this valley, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah we'd, we'd, have, we'd, have, we'd have to do a mark in first, yeah, but yeah, I think yeah. get a bit of meat out of it. It's not, I'm not tender, are you? You're the tender young one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not even funny yeah. though, you won't yeah. last five minutes. <laughs> Who's the fastest? Who could run away the, the quickest from My missus is like a zombie in the morning, so I get her to have a chat with them. <laughs> and, and hopefully help me survive. <laughs> uh, I think we'd have to wait for the uh, people yeah. on that one. <laughs> and, and what would be your weapon of choice? Shotgun. <laughs> I'll stick with my shotgun. <laughs> you go away. I'm a... I'm a... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smash yeah, face. Are we on about for the zombie apocalypse or just in general? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a smash face. Yeah. Uh, and a, a bat of some kind. And a yeah. bombshell. Yeah. Oh, we sound like clacks. Yeah. Practical as ever. That's what you get from people who like marmite. And if you could be sponsored by any company, and that doesn't have to be a record company, who would you like to be sponsored? The real hell company for that. I've got me. If you could be sponsored by any company, what would it be? Stanner, oh. would it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, Zimmer. Yes. Uh, yeah. Any company sponsorship? What? So in the band? Jackson Guitars for me. Well, Millix. <laughs> Millix <laughs> camping equipment. Ready for Bloodstock? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if we can set us up for Bloodstock. Yeah. yeah. Separate, separate tent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we always looking for uh, guitar strings companies and uh, plinky companies, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, I do like Jackson guitars, by the way. That, that is my favourite. ESP. Oh, God, He's still on the beat. I've got a kit. That's cool, thanks very much. Thank you. You're welcome. I know you're busy and it's got to go, you know, quick break before everything kicks up again. So right, it's well, been wonderful. Yeah, no, thank, thank you very much. much. Thank, no, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, thanks very much.